Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today I'm going to be doing a crafter square making a teddy bear using my left hand. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below and click on that notification bell for future videos. So to get today, you guys, um, like I said in my previous videos, if you are right-handed, go check those out. They're in my crochet playlist. Um, but I said that I would be doing the same instructions with my left hand for the lefties out there because I am uh, originally, well, actually I'm originally righty, but then somewhere when I was little, I switched to a lefty. So I've been a lefty my whole life, but I'm... Um, ambidextrous pretty much so <laughs> um enough of that confusion um i'm gonna do this uh crafter square kit um this is long coming i did all the five characters i believe it's five or six characters and then i did some hol um some christmas characters and now i said i would go back and do these in left-handed um, so I'll do that for you guys, and I did have uh, some requests to do left-handed, so um, this is for them. Thank you so much for your request. If you have any requests um, for me to do, um, feel free to comment below, and I will do that for you. And as a reminder, um, first time around, that was my legit first time around. I don't think a lot of people know that. Uh, this was sent to me via text by my best friend and um, she really needed help figuring out the instructions because these instructions um, are difficult and they're tiny to say uh, the least. And so when um, my first videos were being watched, a lot of people commented on um, how I did to interpret them. And some are good, some are bad, but you know, there's not much I can do because these instructions um, were, you know, just as bad as they were. So, <laughs> um, but I am glad that there, um, I was able to put these videos out there because I also have been told there are no other videos of people doing these Dollar Tree kits. And it's very unfortunate that you can get these at the Dollar Tree for I believe a dollar twenty nine each, but again the instructions aren't that great, so you have to work around that. So hopefully it can help you today, especially for the lefties out there. Since I've done done this the first time around, at least now I kind of have an idea of how to do it. So I hope that this time around will be not so confusing as the first videos, if they were, because again I was literally learning um, while I was filming. So, in this kit, um, which I won't have anymore because, um, this one in particular, because it was sent to me via text, well, um, it comes with a lot of stuff. The plastic needle, the yarn, the stuffing, crochet hook, plastic beads, an instruction sheet, and obviously I have nothing, uh, from this kit except for the needle and the hook because I got them from another kit. Um, I do have plastic beads, but I do not like to use them. I like to sew mine on with the needle because um, those are a choking hazard. So let's take a look at the instructions. So this is what my friend texted me. And it comes with about four basic stitches that you need to know. Um, you have your chain stitch, single crochet stitch, and then you have your increasing stitch and decreasing stitch. So um, in this instruction set here is basically how you make your magic loop and then um, how to finish off in the end. And every kit starts out this way. So at least that's consistent and you don't have to kind of, you know, figure out a new way each kit. So at least you know that chunk of it going into it. And then the rest of the instructions show in pieces um, as far as body parts go. Let me zoom this in. Thank goodness I can do this with my phone. Um, crochet arms, crochet legs, crochet head, and so on. And it tells you how many rows there are going to be in it and how many stitches there should be in each row. 
And then of course they have color code. Well, this one's color coded. We found out that in some of the other kits, they don't even show the color. They just tell you. But um, yeah, so it'll indicate the color. And then um, these little X's you see here, these are um, actually uh, the increasing and decreasing stitches. And let's go back here. and chain and single crochet stitches. So at first I didn't even know what these boxes were, but it was basically um, indicating what stitches you use for each round. And then in the red that you can't even see, because this is the max zoom, and don't worry, it's not because it's my phone. If you do have these kits, the instructions are tinier than this, I feel, because I think the sheet might be like yay big like that I feel it fits in the square the little kit is a square but anyway so I'm gonna decipher this with you and again since I kind I mean it's been a while so I kind of forgot but since I've done this before I think I'll be able to help you better if not comment below what you need to see again sorry that was a nail set I did a while back <laughs> okay so let's start with these instructions here so let's do the magic loop. That should be fairly easy, but I am doing this on my uh, right hand. So now I just gotta reverse everything for my left. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our yarn here, right? Well, do we start with brown? Oh my gosh, already failing. All right, let's do the arms, and yes, we start with the brown. Okay. So we're going to take our yarn here, and, <clears throat> and I'm going to wrap this around my finger twice. One, two, and I'm going to leave that little overage right over my index finger like that so that I can take my middle finger and kind of hold that down so now I have these three pieces like that then I'm going to take the needle that came in the kit I'm going to slide that underneath and then I'm going to pull that through the loops and then I'm going to yarn over and pull this through the loop. Okay. So if you need to see that again, you can tap twice on the left hand side of the screen to go back 10 seconds, or you can tap on the screen and move the red bar um, to rewind the video. If I am going too slow for you guys, there's a little gear button right here on the top right corner press that and then you're going to see options for a, a playback speed you can slow down or fast forward if you want if you don't need to hear me verbally saying the instructions especially with my squeaky voice for some reason you could always um lower the volume on your phone <laughs> but now that we've made this magic loop we can remove the loop off your finger so that was pretty much steps one, two, three, four. Okay, so now for five, we have to draw the working yarn through the loop with your hook, like the direction of the arrow. So we're gonna basically yarn over. And then we're gonna pull that through the loop. We're gonna chain one because we're going to be doing some single crochets and you need a chain one to make the height of this round. So then it's going to have you six through six through nine is a single crochet instruction. It would also be nice if they mentioned that so that you're just not going through the motions. You're learning why you're going through the motions. Okay, 
So, um, I'm going to, to do a single crochet, I'm going to stick the hook into this magic loop here. And then I'm going to yarn over. And then I'm going to pull that through the magical loop. And then I'm going to yarn over. And I'm going to pull that through two loops. And we just made our first single crochet stitch. So hook into the magic loop, yarn over, pull up through the magical loop, yarn over, pull through those two loops, and here we have our single crochet. So um, this is actually after we've made the six stitches. So let's go and ignore this for now. And let's make five more. Okay, again, one more time. Into the magic loop, yarn over, pull it through the magic loop, yarn over, pull through the two loops, and we have two. One, two. Okay, so I'm going to do this three more times silently. Um, again, you can speed up or slow down uh, if you're trying to catch this. So after we have our six, oh, that's the height one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, be sure you keep count of what you're doing. And I totally was not counting, really. <laughs> I was looking and it looked like six. But this is the height um, chain that we just made in the beginning before we started our single crochet stitches. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So here we have to keep pulling the yarn through the loop in the direction of the arrow. Okay, repeat the short stitch. Um, step seven through eight, uh, seven and eight for six times. Yes, yeah, so that's basically the single crochet stitch. And again, I don't know why they just don't say that. It's confusing. Okay, so they want you to pull this, right? But you're gonna find, I found a trick with this. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna pull up a lot of yarn with this hook right because we're gonna set this hook free and the reason why we want a big loop is so you don't accidentally lose it but what we're gonna do I'm going to pull this a little bit and trust me doing this is gonna help you a lot if you just pull it um, only one side is gonna go and it's gonna be real hard to get whatever's still looped into these stitches that's what happened to me in the first video so I'm going to help out you guys so pull this a little bit hold these stitches down and then watch which one goes in first okay so the back one's going in first right you have this front one what we're going to do is move this aside here I'm going to take this end from that back loop that was moving and I'm just going to start pulling that out. And then you're going to see this one go. You're going to see the front one um, start pulling. See? It's pulling now. Pulling. And you're going to want to keep pulling it until that disappears. 
or it disappears as much as you can make it disappear. Okay, see how it's closing in now? That's the magic loop closing. Um, now we're going to pull this end and we're going to watch this one disappear into the magic loop. And that's why it's called the magic loop. And there, there you have it. It's that simple. You guys, look at that. Okay. So now what we have to do is put the hook um, back into your loop. And then we're going to pull it till it's comfortably loose in this little loop. Now we have to do our slip stitch. Okay, so we did 10. Now for 11, it says put the hook through the loop in the direction of the arrow. So that's basically a slip stitch. We're going to yarn over it and pull through all that. And that's a slip stitch. So let's count back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're going to stick your hook into the front and back loops of that sixth stitch. We're going to yarn over. And then we're going to pull through everything. Like it says here. Okay. Okay. And then, um... We're going to have to leave a marker. We're going to chain one to make the height of the uh, the next row, but we're also going to leave a marker for the first um, for the stitch that we made the last. And you can use anything. Um, I would whip out whip out these uh, plastic safety pins that I got from another kit, but since I'm kind of showing you what this kit has, it doesn't have that, so I don't want to like take out something that um, it doesn't have, and then you're wondering why I'm not, you know, how did I get that, you know? So I'm just using yellow yarn here, and I'm just going to slip this through the needle you know, I think the safety pins uh, do tend to be easier, but the yarn is more convenient because you can just get yarn. You don't have to pay for it. <laughs> it doesn't come with the kit. Um, so yeah, so just slip this through. Okay, and this is going to be the mark of your last stitch. So even if you lose count, you will know where you left off or at least began. Okay. So that's pretty much 13 and 14. And then 15 is actually at the very end when you're done with the whole circle. So we'll go back to that once we complete this whole circle. So we're going to do the arm first. And our first round is the six stitches. Pay attention for each body part because in some of the kits, it's not a six. Okay, so we just did round one. Round two is six stitches. It looks like each round, one through six, is going to be six stitches, which is fairly simple. Um, so we can just, I can just show you how to do the single crochet stitches and create each row after that. But after the one, two, three, fourth row, we're going to switch to yellow, which is a little complicated. Okay. So after that chain one, we're going to do a single crochet stitch. And what you do is you put your hook into the front and back loops of the first, um, wait, let's see if this is the first. Okay. Uh, just to mention... When you pull this up here, you're going to see two stitches move. The, one, the last one that we marked and the one next to it. So this is actually fused together. This is what a slip stitch does that we did. 
So this one is not going to count as the first stitch because this one is technically this one. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but if you look at it, you can see that this one can basically cover the other one because that's what a slip stitch does. So then our first stitch will be the next one over. So how we do the single crochet stitches, we put the hook into the front and back loops, we yarn over, pull the hook through the loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops. I'm going to do this one more time with you, and then we're going to do the remaining four on our own. Put the hook into the next stitch, front and back stitch, front and back loops, sorry. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, so let's do this four more times. And then four is this one right here. So what we're gonna do is remove the marker. We're gonna slip this front and back loops. Yarn over. Yarn over. Okay. So now I'm gonna count back six stitches and we're gonna do a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So put it into the sixth stitch. And pull it through all of them. And then we're gonna mark this with our needle. And this is curling into itself, and we want the prettier side to be on the outside. This side looks like a basket weave. Let's just flip this inside out. And we'll do this for all of these body parts. So see how you have it, it's nicer. It's got individual rows. Okay, so let's Get these little things out of the way here. This excess piece from the magic loop, just stuff that in there. <laughs> we won't need that anymore. Okay. So now we can move on to the third row. Six stitches. So first we're going to make a chain like we always do for each round of single stitches. Okay, then I'm going to do six cro single crochet stitches.
Then I'm going to count back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to slip stitch this. And I'm going to mark this. Now we're going to do row four. Again, six stitches. So I'm going to chain one, like we always do, for each single crochet row. And then I'm going to single crochet six times. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So you know what? This is the fourth row. The fifth row, we got to switch to six. So I'm trying to figure out a good way to do this. But we won't need brown anymore. So I would just go and cut this off here. Okay. Um. Okay. So, if you are a beginner, I want to know, it might be uncomfortable, right? <laughs> Let's just take this off, because I need this hook to cast on some yellow. So, what we're going to do, let's remove the needle from the front and back loops of that sixth stitch and I want you to pull out some of this yarn so you can set this aside and I'm going to teach you how to cast on your own stitches so we can switch to yellow. This will be a nice clean way of transitioning to yellow. So what we're going to do, take this end, take your ring finger and thumb pinky if you want. Hold that. Then with your index and middle finger, pull apart some yarn so that you have this to work with. Now we're going to take this needle, lay it perpendicular. We're going to go down, up, and around. Right. Then I'm going to hold it here. Then I'm going to grab some yellow. 
like this. Then I'm going to pinch this end and slide the needle down. And then I'm going to pinch both this piece and this piece together with your thumbnail or your thumb enough so that you can move this needle around. Then we're going to yarn over and then you're going to pull it through this loop. Okay. Then we're going to take our fingers. We're going to take these ones and pinch the end. And we're going to push this down towards the end, making that knot tighter as you push it down. And you want to keep doing that until you can't do it anymore. Like that. Okay. Let's see if we can go any tighter. Yeah, I'm not sure if this can go any tighter. All right, so then we take this end and we pull it. Then I take my fingers, hold it right here, and slide it up the hook like that. And then I'm going to slip this off like that and lay it down. Okay, then I'm going to grab this, put the needle back in, tighten it up. So then we're going to do our slip right. So we're going to count back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stick your needle into the front and back loops of that six stitch there. Hold on, I can't even see it. This color is just so light. Okay, like that. Then we're going to slip this on here. And then we're going to pull this through both loops like that. And then we're going to yarn over and chain one. But now I'm going to mark this. So now we have this left. And um, let me show you how I would secure that because if you leave this loose, I guess it's fine, but it'll, by some crazy luck, it might get pulled out, right? So let's actually remove a chain. Stick your needle back in just to secure it. I'm going to tie it two times. One doesn't have to be tight really just snug two and then you can tuck this brown And then you can chain one, yarn over, and chain one, and then we're going to create a marker. So since we are, well, let's use this first, because once we switch to yellow, you should get a different color because um, it might blend and it'll just be harder to see. But we're going to mark off the 
where we left off. And then we're going to do our fifth row. And count back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then let's do our final row. Let's chain one. And I gotta make sure that that stitch is the right one, yes, sorry. Just checking. One, two, I'm going to count back six and do our last slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we don't need to mark this off, but I'm going to leave a long chain here. Now, if you are using the kits, I would be careful with how much yarn you use because we found out that some of the kids didn't have enough yarn. I think the puppy one was the one that other people said the same thing, that there wasn't enough yarn. So just be aware of that. But that is what I did. Sorry, let me go back and tell you what I did. I just did that so quick. <laughs> okay. So this is where we left off. We cut this piece here. All I did was yarn over and then I pulled that all the way through and then I tightened it just a little bit. And that, you guys, is actually this step here. 
when you reach the last stitch on the last row cut off the yarn with about five inches to spare it even tells you five inches which is probably around a little less than this but it's crazy because for like I said the puppy kit you need to be careful with your pieces like this because there was not enough yarn <laughs> okay slip the end of the yarn through the stitch and pull it to tighten the loop weave the tail um, into your work it tells you to weave it into your work I'm telling you guys keep this around because we're gonna sew this we're gonna use this to sew your um, teddy bear together and it's so much easier when you have something already attached to the body part so I am, if it is a double, I am going to do them offline just to save on uh, recording time. But then um, I am going to do obviously all the body parts and video. Since this is the first kind of introduction back into these crafter squares for lefties, this first video is already, yes, long. And they're usually long, but I'm going to try to not uh, I'm going to try to cut it out by saving time with making the second piece on my own. And then obviously we don't have to go through each single like step in, you know, much detail. Um, so basically that was the crochet arms and the next pieces are going to be brown. And we're going to work the leg and I can show you how to do the increase and, de and decrease stitches. And I'm going to be using my yellow um marker okay for the next step we're gonna do the crocheted leg and it starts off with six so let's do this magic loop again so we're gonna gauge how much you need but we're gonna wrap the yarn over twice and we want it to have, we want a little spill over, not too much, not too little. But you want enough so that you can hold it down with your middle finger. And don't make it too tight. Slip the needle under here. Drag it back through those two pieces. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through that loop. And then slip off the finger there. I'm just gonna grab some yarn here. And then you're gonna chain one. And then we're gonna do six single crochet stitches. One. Okay. And let me just walk you through that because I realized I didn't into the magic loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. We're going to do this four more times. So now we should have six. Again, we're going to start pulling this. See which one goes first. The back loop again. So what you do is you want to pull this end out. And you want to pull it till this one disappears. Then we're going to grab this piece and pull that as well. Okay. Then I'm going to do a slip stitch, count back six, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
You want to yarn over, pull through everything like that. Then we're going to mark this off. So hard to hold everything. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here in round two, we have to plus three. Right? You see that, you guys? So we're going to be doing the increasing stitch here, this one, um, and it's marked by an X with a little carrot pointing down. So now we will go through um, this circle here. So we're doing the second row. And it's telling me that the first stitch has the X with the little arrow. We're going to increase in the first stitch to increase on the third stitch and increase on the fifth stitch and then six and total we'll have nine stitches. So that is hard to read. And again, this is blown up bigger than the actual instructions that you'll see in other videos. I'm going to be doing the other characters as well. So you'll actually see those because I have the instruction for those. But you're going to see how really tiny they are. Anyway, let's start off our round by chaining one like we always do. And then I'm going to do the increasing stitch on the first stitch here. So insert your hook front and back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now to do an increasing stitch, all it is is you stick that needle back into that same stitch and you do another single crochet stitch. So that's it. That's how easy an increasing stitch is. So now we're going to do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to do an increasing stitch in the next stitch. One, two, And then we're going to do a single crochet stitch into the next stitch. And then we're going to do an increasing stitch into the next stitch. And then I want to remove this marker. And then we're just going to do a single crochet stitch into that stitch. So it's already wanting to turn inward. Let's turn this outward. Okay, and then we're going to count nine stitches and we're going to do a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
draw through all stitches and then we're going to mark off the last stitch And like we did with the uh, the arm, just shove this excess piece in here. Okay. So now we can start the third row, which is just nine single crochet stitches. So that's simple enough. Just make your chain like we do for every round and then do nine single crochet stitches. Then I'm going to count back nine and do a slip stitch. I want to mark this. So then we're going to do round four, which is nine minus two. And that's going to be this decreasing stitch here that I'm going to walk you through it. But here it shows, I'll use this as my pointer again. So in the fourth round, one, two, three, four. All right. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. One, I lost my place while I'm counting. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, I think this is four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, that's not it. One, two, three, four. Okay. How many rows are? Oh, there's only six. Okay, so first stitch is single crochet, second, third, fourth, fifth row, a uh, fifth stitch is single crochet, the sixth, and the um, seventh stitch is going to be the decreasing stitch. 
first so you'll end up with seven stitches and I'll show you how to do those when we get to it so the first five are single crochet stitches and I learned I learned that part way down the, I don't know what character I was working on but it was definitely not the first couple okay so make your chain like we always do and let's do five single crochet stitches So once you have your five single crochet stitches, I'm going to show you how to do the decreasing stitch. So basically what it is, is taking two stitches and making them one. So we're going to lose one stitch every time we do the decreasing stitch. And this is how we do it. You're going to stick your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Then you're going to stick your needle into the next stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's it. You just made two stitches into one stitch. So let's remove this marker because this is the last one we're doing. And I'll show that to you one more time. So into the next stitch yarn over, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. So then we're going to count back seven and do a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and slip stitch. So now I'm just going to take the marker and mark this off. And then I'm going to stick this into the last stitch we just made. And then I'm going to complete rows my needle's getting so twisted here. Okay, I'm going to be completing rows 5 and 6. And they're both 7 crochet stitches, so this should be easy. And then we'll fasten off. Chain 1. And let's do 7 single crochet stitches. I want to count back seven into a slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to mark it off. And we're going to do one more row. Of seven stitches. So let's chain one. And then. 
Let's do seven single crochet stitches. I'm going to count back seven and do a slip stitch. And then like we did with the last body part, the arm, give yourself some excess there, cut it off, and then we're just going to yarn over. pull all the way through and then tighten it up and then we have our leg so now we have our arm and our leg and we're going to be doing two of these I'll do it off camera so um, let me just make this into a three-parter we're getting back into everything and the teddy bear does have a lot of parts so um let's just cut this down here give your time some time for you to make the second um arm and leg and then when we come back we're going to do the crochet head and body and then maybe we'll have time to do the um, ears and mouth and then in the part three we'll do the assembly Okay, you guys, so thank you so much for joining me in this video today of doing the Crafter Square Teddy Bear. Um, I really appreciate your support and um, I definitely uh, love hearing your feedback and requests. So feel free to do so in the comment below. Um, I will see you again in part two. Thanks for watching.